Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another animation video on this channel and another episode for Exploring Perfect All Kills, a series where, well, I rake to all of the songs that got a Perfect All Kill in Korea. If you don't know what the Perfect All Kill is, it basically is being number one in all of the charts at the same time. That includes all of the real-time, daily and weekly charts and only about 105 songs, I think it is now, have achieved this since 2010, uh, at the end of 2010, kind of. So it's been almost 11 years now. Which is kind of crazy, and yeah, this is episode 26. This is a song from September 2013. Um, so we're almost done with 2013. This is Baska Baska with their third ever perfect all kill, Love at First. I have also obviously reacted to um, the other two um, Baska Baska perfect all kills, and those were my first two reactions, and I guess um, also impressions of Baska Baska. I actually really like them. Um, if you really love me and a Cherry Blossom ending, if you want to see the reactions to those or other episodes of the x and Perfect Orca series. I will have a playlist for both of those um, in the comment section of this video. As per usual, in every video I have that. And if you want to follow me over on Patreon to see more reactions from me um, on top of my YouTube reactions, you can do that by clicking the Patreon link in the description of this video or on my website cutimo.com to gain access to stuff like last year's reactions, album reviews, TV show, K-drama, uh, anime reactions and much more. Please start to my Patreons for April as well. Special shout goes out to Fortitude Ratna, Mickey Moji, Mia Subins and Eldritch. Thank you guys. Here we go with a Baska Baska laugh, uh, laugh at first. And again, this is their last ever um, Perfect Oracle. I'm not sure if they, I forgot, but I don't think they had much more songs even that they released after this. But uh, yeah, this is their last one that was as successful to, to gain a Perfect Oracle. So let's see what they did for this. No subtitles, sadly, but let's go. Let's go. All black and white. Like a girl with a man here. Seems a bit like they're arguing. Oh. Hey, that didn't look. Did they break up, maybe? <laughs> oh. Okay. Now they're waking up the day after or something. I don't know why, but the guy looks really young. The girl doesn't look that young. Well, kind of young as well. I like the guitar a lot. Also, there's only guitar so far. This is... Uh, I, sorry, but I just had the thought of... Uh, I know this so much, this feeling. And <laughs> to me, this is like the perfect cliche of... Of like how uh, different genre, uh, gen genders deal with a breakup. Like <laughs> The guy just lies down and he's like empty. He doesn't know what to do. He just plays around with stuff, but he doesn't think about anything. Literally, he's just lying on the ground doing nothing. He literally doesn't know what to do. She literally went out of the house. She made her hair. Sure, she doesn't like style herself up, but uh, she, she just works. <laughs> like, also, she seems to function quite well. You know? She doesn't seem too faced with by it. And he's literally... The fact that, like, really big. Oh, maybe she is too. Mm. Oof, I love this vibrato here. Oh, it's a nice note you're sitting. See, she's doing stuff. I guess I guess she's more like trying to keep herself busy, probably. And he's just thinking about it now. All the time. Mm. <laughs> also, she's working all the time. He's she's just walking around. 
doing whatever. <laughs> oh. I love the vocal range she's going for in the chorus. It's almost has this very hurting type of vibe about it. Oh, the arcade. <laughs> oh, he's crying. Oh. Fuck. I feel you, bro. Cut a vibrato with the high notes. Oh. Don't show me happy flashbacks. I hate this, man. It actually makes me even more sad that it's not there anymore. But they're both missing each other, though. But this is always the question do they miss each other for real or do they just miss the good times? I'm assuming. I'm assuming it feels like to me as if the girl broke up and the girl probably misses the good times and he probably just misses her. That's that's my, uh, my understanding of this. <laughs> the guy in the back passed out. I wonder if she's going to him. Focus is insane. Holy shit. He's coming back from the cleaner. Oh, the, oh that's a cool image. That's a really cool image. And that's the outro too. That's a really cool image. It's like how they before probably went for ice cream and stuff. And now he dropped it. And um, yeah, he, he basically dropped the relationship. This is like a metaphor for that, I think. I think he moved on now. Oh, that was a really cool last... Wow. I actually really like this shot. Like she's now processing this as well and I guess she's more thinking about it herself now in her free time. Seems like she can't keep herself busy anymore but this is like her way of getting over things I'm assuming and it's kind of like the opposite of what he did, right? He first was crying and was like uh, affected a lot but then he s slowly kept reintegrating into normal life. And she just kind of kept herself busy, like in a stage of denial still. And now she is in this, in the stage where she's really affected. And he already moved on now, kind of. I think it feels like it, right? And with the last shot of the ice cone here, that's really cool, by the way. Like these subtle things, I love in music videos. And the really nice acoustic guitar outro, man. Mmm, chef's kiss, man. That was a, that was a very, very fantastic music once again, um, music video. I do think Baska Baska has like one of the best music videos or like concepts for music videos. I think they have like a clear idea in their head and they have really, really cool ideas. Uh, I guess I like not ideas, but ways to portray their feelings and what they want to say. And it's just really nice how yeah, poetic they are almost. And uh, the, the song here almost felt more like an OST. And I think I said some, something similar in Cherry Blossom Ending, if I remember correctly. It almost feels like they're just singing those teas for the story they want to portray visually in a music video. Um, it's really interesting to me. This song definitely was less flashy and less in your face as the other two, I think. Um, also, it was quite sad. Um, that's definitely one that... I mean, all of the songs kind of have this melodramatic vibe to it. All of the three that I've known so far. But this one definitely has the biggest one of the three. And yeah, it's quite sad, actually. Um, I wonder though why this got a perfect oracle, honestly. This doesn't feel like it's a song that... I mean, it's really beautiful and stuff. I like it a lot. And I know, and that's probably the reason why I'm assuming, is because Baska Baska was just really, really popular for a few years uh, back in the day. And I mean, they probably would still be if they came back today. Um, they're just kind of feeling this indie 
Indie-Vibe um, spot in the, in the music world in Korea. They really loved and they were really loved. So I, I, that's probably the reason. But I don't think the song's necessarily that special that it is like, like it, how do I say this? This is not a song where I would expect all everybody to know this and everybody be like, oh my god, I have to listen to this, I have to download to this, you know? Like, let's let's stream the song. It, it just feels like something very specific. Like, it just feels like a very specific message and and like song for a specific mood. So it's interesting that it's so widely popular to get a perfect oil kill. It just shows either that maybe a lot of people were going through a, a, something like this uh, in the back in the day when this came out. Or probably, more likely, um, the Baska Baska was just insanely huge. And uh, that probably everything that they put out, um, except they had like really big competition at the time, that they would just win a Perfect Oracle, right? I mean, this is their third one in a year or so. Uh, and But also the last one, to be fair, so they never won again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's, it's just uh, it's a good, good song, though, to be honest. So I'm not mad at that at, at all that they got one uh, with this one. I think yeah, I like this a bit more than uh, If You Really Love Me. Not as much as Cherry Blossom ending, I think, but this was great. This was um, very poetic and uh, very beautiful in a way, you know, quite sad too, but in that way, beautiful. So I liked it a lot, and uh, thank you so much for watching this situation video to Baska Baska's Love at First, episode 26 of Exploring Perfect Orchids. As I said in the beginning, I will have playlists in the comment section to one, all my Baska Baska reactions, which is now three of them, and then a playlist to all of my Exploring Perfect Orchid uh, series reactions, you know, the whole playlist for the series. And you can go through 1 to number 26 if you laugh and if you want to. Um, I will keep going with this. And of course, again, there's 105 episodes. Um, some of them, of course, I know already since I've reacted to some of them uh, when they came out. But I will go through them again and um, give different perspectives if I knew the song before. And of course, I mean, we have still like about 50 or 60 songs. I don't know at all on this list. So it's going to be a lot of still very interesting things, even for me. Um, and, and very new impressions to me as well. And the next one is actually going to be another IU one. It has been a long, long time since IU won a perfect oracle actually in this series. A long, uh, long, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it has been a while. So I'm going to do that. I think it's the red shoes. So I look forward to that. And yeah, have a nice day. See you in the next one. Peace.